Zero is 36%. If I plug in one in the formula, you get 38% of the chance. But the rest of it got to add up to 100%. So what's the part that's missing? Well, 36 plus 38 comes out to 60, 74%. So we're missing 26%. So the answer to the question got to be the missing 26%. So this whole piece, without say doing it for an hour, should have come out to approximately 26%. Anybody have a question about anything on this complicated example? You're plugging in 20, choose 1, 0.05 to the 1 power, 1.05 to the other. The same exact formula, but now in the case that have instead of x equals 0, now x is equal to 1 in the case of x equals 1. Okay. Uh, okay, so that's, a, that's the end of our demonstration of the binomial. There's a couple of other things like calculating the mean and the standard deviation, which we're about to learn about, but we can't learn about it in the context of the, of the binomial distribution. We learn about it in the context of the beginning of the chapter, the whole random variable. So let me just back up for a moment then.